All right, lads, just touched down in John Lennon Airport, Liverpool. You heard it right, the first international exploration for the Guinness Guru, first of many, hopefully. Dublin Airport was very, very busy. It was absolutely crazy. It was a full hour. It was a good 40 minutes to get to just the boarding pass scanner. Usually you just stroll up to that. I just literally had a backpack, no check-in bag. 40 minutes to that and then 20 minutes in security. One full hour of just queuing before you got through security. So if you're planning on going anywhere, lads, get there fucking early. I'm a pretty early person anyway. Get there at least two hours before. In terms of COVID checks, that's what everyone's been asking about. Absolutely none because the UK don't really give a fuck and they consider us part of them for flying. So we just, you rock up to the airport, no passport, no COVID, no nothing. Out you go, out the gap, good luck, have a good trip. It's eight o'clock in the morning. I won't be drinking pints for about another six hours. So check in then. All right, lads, we're in Liverpool. Here with the boys. A lot of pubs recommended. Um, yeah, haven't really gone through the list yet. We've got shenanigans, we've got a lot of different places. But first, Guru International Exploration. And I'm excited. I've got my mate Kotsi from back home behind the camera. Shout out Kotsi. He'll be dragged along today. And yeah, let's hit a few pubs and just see what's up. A few lingering, dying heads walking around the streets of Liverpool. It's only about nine o'clock on a Sunday morning. It's a bank holiday. So yeah, see what the crack is like, let's go. Right lads, it's about six hours after the last clip you saw. I didn't want to start drinking at nine in the morning, I'm not that cool. Uh, Pogue Mahone's, first pub, highly recommended. Sunday, so I have no idea our place is gonna be busy. What the fuck is the crack? It's a bank holiday in Ireland, so I wonder if people are gonna be over here and stay an extra night, but again, it's three o'clock on a Sunday, so I'm not expecting places to be mad. Just want a good point, let's see what happens. Right lads. First pub, Pogue Mahone, Pogue Mahone's, not sure what we're calling it. Um, poured out the Guinness Extra Cold tap. That is, seems to be something very popular. We don't have it at all in Ireland, but I think over here, they just like it a bit colder. To be honest, it doesn't feel freezing. It feels like a solid point of Guinness. Um, I don't think the, ga the glass wasn't pulled out of a freezer or anything like that, so I'd say it's just about a degree colder, which probably makes no difference. New glass, but I feel like that'll be a recurring thing today. I'm not gonna go judge too hard on the glass. Told the barman what I was doing. Said I'll give you a cheeky discount. It came to about like, we got two pints, came to about 7.42 or something. So probably like a 10% off job. We'll take what we can get. We're clutching at straws over here, lads. Big city vibes. Point has settled, that's enough shy talk and let's have a sup. Actually looks all right. Yeah, decent. Like, I have to kind of take my mind out of, I'm not gonna get a Gravedigger's style pint, I'm not gonna get a Tom Kennedy's or a Bex. I've got to kind of, that's sad to say, but I've got to kind of lower the standards. And people say, Guinness doesn't travel. I don't know, maybe the right, maybe the wrong, we'll see today. That's a fine pint. Well, pretty much as expected. Kind of looks good, but tastes average enough. Yeah, it's, it's, it looks a lot thicker and creamier than it is. It's, yeah, all I can say is it's grand. It's not bad, it's not a bad pint. Don't get me wrong, not a bad pint at all. Let's see, could be shtick. Give it a sec now. Drink another gulp and see what the shtick is like. You're fine, yeah? All right, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do know if you're talking about it. Yeah, I know, yeah. Yeah, because you don't want to just do it in one, like, and then fucking you're gulping the thing down. The steak, in fairness, visually, uh, uh, visually, despite the new glass, it's a good point. Taste wise, it's grand, pretty middle of the road. <clears throat> Probably get a bump, a little bump in store for the cheeky discount and the fact that it looked really good. It's actually solid steak. That's going to bump it as well. It's going seven on the button. I was going to go six, nine. I'll give it a seven on the button because of the shtick, because of the presentation. Lovely bar, sound bar man. 
7.0 out of 10. Pretty good start. Now, I don't know if that's a 7, I don't know if that's an Irish 7, but it's a fucking Liverpool 7 and it's a solid start. Alright lads, pub 2, the Liffey. Um, wasn't on my original list and I got about 5 or 6 messages saying you absolute moron, how is the Liffey not on your list? So this is what I do, it's, that's why being on the Instagram, so you gotta keep up with the Instagram stories while I'm doing it on the day. If I get enough messages, go to one place, I'll drop one place and I'll add in another. Because I'm only going by recommendations, I don't know where the fuck I'm going, I don't know if these places are good or bad. So, you lads spoke, you said go to the Liffey, and I'm going there. Right lads, as you probably saw, uh, the Liffey was nothing against them, but just dead as a dodo in there. I don't know if I'm gonna get anywhere that's gonna be mental crack, but like, you know me, I always say the videos aren't about the fucking Guinness, they're about the crack, and like, me just sitting in a dead pub, no one wants to see it. So we're gonna keep going. I'd rather keep searching for pubs that have a few bodies inside than just sit in a dead corner and then end up drinking about 50 pints. So we march on. Sorry if you missed out, highly recommended, but it's dead, man. Right lads, just waiting for my pint here in, I don't think I've been said, I, didn't, I always forget to do a thing outside the pub. We are in Lanigan's, a very highly recommended one, I'd say probably the second most recommended after Shenanigans, all the Anigans, Dublin, Kildare, Lens of Finals about to start, so we get this done. Thank you very much. Fucking good look. She put a bit of loving into that one. Kotze approves. There's a dome on that, like a fucking you'd never see. Yeah, lads, the dome on that, fucking unbelievable. Uh, again, new glass, but I think that's what we're going to get in Liverpool. We've got to accept it. Looks good. I, I can't tell if it was poor from the extra cold or cold. It seems to be all extra cold over here. Um, yeah, it looks very similar to the one in Pog Mahone. But it's better. It's better. I'm fucking delighted with that. That's a fucking decent point. These recommendations is just, like people recommend the place a lot. Probably gonna be a good point. They're just fucking starting to correlate now, lads. Paul Mahone had probably half the recommendations that Lanigan's had, and that's a good point. Two, it was two young ones behind the bar. I think they were both uh, from Northern Ireland. And yeah, once I said it, they were kind of like to each other. Are you pouring it, or am I pouring it, or are you pouring it? I don't know who poured it, but I feel like maybe it was the blonde girl. She dropped it over. She seemed very proud of it. She stood proud. She dropped it in front of me and said, there's your Guinness, mate. Um, yeah, Dome to beat the band. Absolute creamer, so fucking the morale has been lifted again. I'm kind of going around, kind of feeling sorry for myself. Oh, not much crack in the pubs. Oh, not everyone recognizes me. Whinge, whinge, whinge. Bro, a pair of Dara. Suck the pints, make the crack. It's a good pint. I'm being revived. That's surprising how good that is. Again, are we on a Liverpool score rate, a UK rating, or an Irish rating? Fuck no, at this stage. But it's going to be a decent one. It's definitely better than Pog Mahone. Pog Mahone takes it for the name. Put Lanigan's pint, solid score incoming. Again, Liverpool stick. I have to get over the new glass. The new glass thing has just gone out of my head. Because that's what you're getting over here. That's a good point. That is, uh, if Pog Mahone was a 7, that's like a 8.1. Again, is that an 8.1 in Dublin? Probably not. But it's a good bit better than Pog Mahone. Happy with that. Boom. Spirit has been lifted. We march on. Right lads, leaving Lanigans, I don't want to go, but we got to go, the show must go on. Um, absolutely, ego has just been massaged to the nines in here. People coming over, shaking hands, kissing babies, you know how it is, taking pictures. Living the life, Liverpool. We're fucking having it large into the Irish house. Right lads, Mike is very close to my mouth. 
we are in Irish Town House. I don't know if I got a single recommendation. What's crack? How are you? What's crack, boy? Hey, uh, 6.8. Bit low, is it? Bit low. Enough. You're not impressed? Not, not too impressed. Where are you from? I'm in front You're with the Ennis Gillen, Mad Guns? Part of the Psycho Crew. Alright. Were you in Charlie's that day? No? I was in Charlie's. You were? Aye. Ah, oh, there's fucking one of the real ones right here. 6.8. 6.8? 6.8. Alright. Have your chance. What do you think yourself? I haven't had it yet. Alright. I'll, I'll get you one. 6.1. 6-7. What are you getting on? 7-7. You're from Wexford? From Anna. I was chatting to you today. All the Char fucking Charlies, Charlies. How many of you fucking guns are here? Hey, do you remember me? 10. 10. I don't know who I remember now, but Jesus Christ. Hey. From Anna. You know, video would have been shade only for us. Totally agree. Yeah. Totally agree. Keep going, Ernie. Keep her on, oh yeah. yeah. That's what it's all about. Where the fuck we're gonna sit for? an absolute pandemonium basically to give you an idea from the front these are the two places I was just in Lanigan's the Irish house side by side equally good point of Guinness arguably Irish house was a bit more mad uh, Lanigan's probably probably the slightly nicer pub and atmosphere but if you want carnage Irish house <laughs> um, yeah fucking like I said Liverpool at the drop of a hat went from Pogue Mahones being fucking nothing going on to going into these two absolute mad places we march on alright lads I'm outside Flanagan's Apple again the Instagram story I said there was six different pubs went into a couple of them O'Neill's was dead McCooley's in the concert square was dead maybe I went too early maybe I didn't give him a fair shot but well, I'm just totally rolling with the punches a few lads said Flanagan's Apple is the best pint in Liverpool I'll be the judge of that, but really quickly, I need to go back to Future Dara to just really quickly tell you about the sponsor of this video. Right, lads, you know the drill. Got to pay the bills. Got to keep the lights on here at Guru HQ. And what a HQ it is, thanks to today's video sponsor, Man Cave Collectibles. If you've got a little room in the gaff, if you've got a she bean, a men's shed, you got a man cave, anywhere where basically your missus or your ma will let you deck the place out. Man Cave Collectibles is your only man. I'm talking cast iron signs, Guinness clocks, bacon fries, scampi fries, metal signs, tin signs, the toucans, everything. They've got the county signs and they have a shitload more stuff over at Man Cave Collectibles. Use the code GURU to get 10% off, lads. We always sort you out. Fresh, young company, local lads, sound skins, Use the code GURU to get 10% off at Man Cave Collectibles. Check out the website. Way more stuff than this. They decked me out. I really, really appreciate it. And yeah, just really good lads. So get on over there, Man Cave Collectibles. Thank you, Future Dara. We're back at Flanagan's Apple. Let's have a swamper of a pint. By the way, the vibe in Liverpool has changed a billion percent. We were out at three o'clock. We were in pubs going, oh my God, there's nothing happening in Liverpool on a Sunday. Half five now. Different gravy boat. I actually really like the setup of this bar, but obviously not too mental. Again, new glass, but we can't even talk about new glass over here. That's just what you're gonna get. Looks a good point. That's actually fucking lovely. I won't lie to you. I need to just start fucking holding this thing, Katsy. 
<laughs> and you get a proper microphone. So I'm always in fear that you won't be able to hear me. That is a lovely pint. Again, the extra cold. That's all they care about. All they do over here is extra cold. But it doesn't really taste extra cold. It tastes regular. Maybe it's a... Can anyone anyone in the comments let me know? Is it like a degree or two colder? I don't know. we got a serious shaky table situation going on. You can probably feel it on the camera there. <laughs> but it's all right. No, I really like this bar. But it's just funny. You wonder, like, what has to happen of a Sunday in Liverpool to make one bar absolute carnage and one bar chilled out like this. But to be fair, I feel like the people in here don't want carnage. It's just, it's a strange one. It's a, it's an interesting theory to study because, yeah, this place is just solid, good for your customers, nothing crazy. Somewhere like Irish Town House, don't think it was a single recommendation and it was probably my best review and a good point. But I'm just here for the crack. I always say the videos aren't about the Guinness, they're about the crack and we got the crack, so we're just happy sipping. I have to say, very smooth, relatively creamy, Stick relatively good. Banter levels in here, 5 out of 10. Not much going on, but that's not what it's about. I can't just rate a place because they don't have 50,000 hooligans fucking all over me. I can't let my ego get in the way that much. So, I think there was an 8.1 for both Lannigans and Irish Town House. I'm happy with that. That's like a solid 7.7. 7.7, not quite Lannigans, not quite... Um, Irish Town House again I'm, I, I'm not being anti-British but I get the sort of I got a real strong Irish vibe like this place is called Flanagan's it would just make you presume it's an Irish bar maybe it's not but I got a real strong Irish vibe in Flanagan's and Irish Town House not getting it here but there's me just assuming it's an Irish bar solid point 7.7 Right lads, unfortunately I have to do a fucking voiceover for this bit. Something went wrong with the mic, it didn't record. Anyway, we march on, you want to see me when I found out, absolutely raging. Shenanigans, the last pub, also by far the most highly requested. Not really in the middle of the city centre, you can see it's just by itself, it's a mad little pub on this really cool street, kind of hipstery street but deadly, big, uh, long, tall building. Went in, barman was a legend, very sure of himself, cool dude. He said, do you want the extra cold or the regular? I said, what do you think? You see right there, he goes, regular. I said, he knows the crack. I said, sure, come over and have a chat with me um, if you fancy it. And he said, yeah, no problem. Confidence personified. Look at the creamy head on that point, lads. Absolute creamer. No wonder it was the most requested. Drink, drink, drink. You're going to see soon. The shtick was absolutely unreal on this point. Again, new glass, but we don't care because we're in Liverpool. Look at the shtick. I'm contemplating. I'm saying the other Lanigans and Irish House were an 8.1. I said, fuck it, 8.2. Best pint of Guinness in Liverpool. Guinness Guru verified. The chap came over. Daniel or Danielle, I'm not sure it was his name, told me basically he's only here a few months. Him and his cousin came over from Portugal. Uh, and yeah, I just said, like, do you do anything outside of uh, the bar? He said, no, I've just been working here a few months. I said, cool, man. Um, I proceed to try to tell him what the Guinness Guru was. He didn't know what it was, but he was mad sound. I'm there trying to say, your point is the best point in Liverpool. He was unfazed, too cool for school, this chap. But he was absolutely sound. You can just see me trying to like convince, be like, yeah, it's Guinness Guru, a deadly point, yeah. I think I'm here telling him, oh yeah, like best point, blah, blah, blah. He's like, yeah, cool. I said, right, sound lad, good luck. Then I just said, it's right, and you want to say, and he just said, just come to the pub, bring more people in. And I said... Well, you'll be fucking mad busy now. I'm going to bring you in about 4 million customers. Just joking. Anyway, apologies for the audio issues. What a lot of bollocks. Very unprofessional. But that was shenanigans. Right, lads. Fucking camera's dead. I'm well on. But I'm actually grand. Uh, yeah, last pub. Shenanigans. What a spot. I'm here in the middle of Liverpool. It's been... I seem like I always say this for videos, but it's just been, it's been up, it's been down, it's been, I thought, went to the first pub, like, this is going to be zero crack. I had about a million hours between landing here and starting the reviews. I've <laughs> been bollocks, my eyes are probably showing it as the reviews have gone on. <coughs> my eyes are probably red, raw. 
but we did it lads the first guru international video is done wrapping it up here at liverpool what a fucking spot to start it i'm absolutely delighted with how it went and as you saw merch out friday buy some if you want to support the channel if you want to let me go to liverpool manchester newcastle london edinburgh and beyond europe america all over the world buy a t-shirt support your boy i'll see you next week liverpool i'm fucking out of here absolute fucking spot